Let's have a quick look at stairs. Um, it's quite a large topic which I don't have uh, a lot of time to cover in detail. But let's uh, give you a, a, a brief introduction to uh, how they work. There's a couple of ways in which we can uh, approach chair, uh, stairs. Um, one of them, and I guess the simplest me method, is just to use Archicad's uh, library to add a stair in. Now, all I want to do is just cover small stairs. Uh, most of you are going to be in these projects are working on a residential scale, one story building. So let's not get into stair calculations, but um, opening up a stair, uh, I think that uh, where, where I am, by the way, is in the stair tool. And I've gone into Archicad 16 library and down to complete stairs. And you get a range of complete stairs I already set up for you that you can alter and change here and there. So um, I think the default setting is this one. When you first open uh, up the uh, stair tool, it will, uh, it will come up with a stair like this. So uh, that figure there is the overall height of the stair from uh, floor to floor. So you can adjust that to your height. Uh, this figure here is the width across the stair in this direction. Um, the length of the stair from this end through to this end on a horizontal plane is that dimension there. So you can adjust those three figures to suit the stairs dimensions that you want. Um, and then that in conjunction with, uh, you'll notice that there is a number of uh, parameters that you can change about the stairs, uh, the number of rises, for example. Um, so let's say um, we want three, three rises, it's only a small set of stairs, um, and we don't want them quite that big, so what we're going to do is say the height is, uh, let's say, three, four, 400, 340. Uh, the length, uh, let's say, is um, 750. Um, and let's change. Uh, we don't want handrails on our stairs, so we can come down, and you'll notice that there is a, a, a thing on rails, and we can uh, set a parameters on rails. We can say none. Um, and then the other thing you might want to change is the symbol on the floor plan. So there's a number of different symbols. I'll let you have a look through them, but I'm picking type 7, which just gives me a, a fairly simple looking stair. So I can uh, drop that in uh, onto my floor plan, and if I select that, generate a 3D view uh, fit to window, which is this little button here and I can see the stairs. Um, I have left the um, the coverings on the risers and the treads, but you can uh, select that and open up uh, the stair tool again. And somewhere in there, I think it's under um, treads and risers maybe, you can uh, change that. So I can uh, switch that off, and it starts to uh, cover, uh, take those things off. Um, and you can, if it's a small set of concrete stairs leading up to a house, that's the sort of ideal uh, thing that uh, you'd want to create in your model. Okay, and then you can drag it to wherever your door or landings are. Um, I think that should get you out of trouble in a small scale building. Um, see how you go.